Hello, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel Net Military. Please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. Thank you very much. Philippines and next door neighbor Malaysia are engaged in a diplomatic spat, with tit for tat verbal sparring and the summoning of ambassadors, after Manila's foreign secretary revived old claims that the Malaysian state of Sabah is part of Philippine territory. On Thursday, Philippine Foreign Secretary Teodoro Loxon Jr. said he had summoned Malaysia's envoy here after Kuala Lumpur's foreign minister criticized Manila's top diplomat over his earlier statement regarding Filipino territorial claims to Sabah, a region in Malaysian Borneo that lies close to the Sulu Islands in the southern Philippines. The issue has been a long-time thorn in bilateral relations. No country can tell another what it can and cannot say about what the latter regards as rightfully its own, Loxon said in his latest verbal salvo. He emphasized that, just as the Philippines does in asserting its ownership rights in its territorial dispute with China in the South China Sea, it would do the same with Philippine claims in Sabah. It is free to say what it wants while we say and do what needs doing. That holds for Sabah, Loxin, who is known for his blunt messages posted on social media, said via Twitter. And that's China we're talking about, the second biggest economy and military power in the 21st century. I am summoning the Malaysian ambassador, he added. Controversy erupted earlier this week after Loxin expressed his displeasure on social media about a statement circulated on Twitter by the US Embassy that referred to Sabah as part of Malaysia. The Philippines maintains a historical claim over Sabah, which Malaysia incorporated in the 1960s, although Kuala Lumpur still pays a token rent to the heirs of the Sultanate of Sulu. Sabah is not in Malaysia if you want to have anything to do with the Philippines, Loxin said on Monday. The American embassy did not immediately respond when Benner News contacted for comment. Loxin's first message prompted his Malaysian counterpart, Hisham Mudan Hussein, to fire back by saying he would summon the Philippine ambassador to Kuala Lumpur over Loxin's comments. This is an irresponsible statement that affects bilateral ties, Hisham Mudan said Wednesday in a tweet. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs will summon the Philippine ambassador on Monday to explain. Sabah is, and will always be, part of Malaysia. On Thursday, Philippine presidential spokesman Harry Roque waded into the issue as he sought to calm frayed nerves. He stressed that Sabah had long been acknowledged by the government as part of the Philippines. He recognized that this matter should not affect our own ongoing bilateral ties with Malaysia, he said. It has not affected it in the recent years, and we will continue to have healthy bilateral relations with Malaysia despite the issue of Sabah.